Hello and welcome to Mr. Mason's vlog number one. Now vlog stands for video blog, I think, um, and this is number one. I'm gonna be running through quite a few things and basically it's gonna be a bit like a lesson, but from my house. Um, I've got a table so I can do lots of crafty stuff, activities on it, which I'm gonna go through. And I'm gonna go through exercise of the week. I'm gonna go through fact of the week. I'm gonna go through tune of the week, which uh, will be a tune that I've found I quite like for the week. Um, Yes, the main part of this video every week that I will release will be about a fun, creative project that you can do at home, hopefully not using too many tools, not needing any you know, machines, not needing anything kind of thing too serious, just you know, pencil, pen, paper, scissors, bit of cardboard, etc. etc. So yeah, hopefully um, there'll be something interesting for you to get your teeth into. Oh, most importantly, make sure you subscribe and like, which means that a notification will come up every week when I release a video. Brilliant. Right. Welcome to Creativity Craft Corner. Yeah, that's right. Um, basically, I'm going to show you a fun, creative project that you can do at home. You don't need many materials. You might have to raid the recycling bin. Um, you need a few tools. You don't need a glue gun. I've got a glue gun, but if you have got one, that's great. If not, don't worry. If you've got print stick or masking tape, sellotape, you should be fine. Basically, I've been making these little characters. Um, so I found a cork. I've put some googly eyes on him and I've given him some hair and he's now called Colin, um, obviously. And um, don't worry if you can't find any corks, you can get a piece of paper or a bit of card and roll it up and make a little weird monster creature thing. Again, I've got some googly eyes, but if you don't, it doesn't matter, draw some eyes on. Um, and it's not all about making the little character that's important, it's about the little scenes that you make. So as an example, I've made a little beach scene. I've used some sandpaper for the sand, I've colored that blue. I've got a little shark fin, card mainly. I've used glue, a um, little bit of dowel in there, and I've got a little umbrella, a little towel. Um, so Colin can just sit on the beach. There we go, a little scene there, nothing too fancy, but I had quite a lot of fun making that little scene. Um, and now I've also made a little kitchen, so Colin can put his little chef's hat on, which I made from some sellotape and some lined paper. Put his little uh, chef's outfit on, which again, is made for some card and pen. There we go, there we go. Um, and I've made a little kitchen scene like that. So um, I've just got some white cards, I've made a little saucepan with a little clear lid. So if you've got any clear plastic, that's really good because you can make all sorts from that. Glued a little handle on there, so it's a little saucepan. Uh, made a little hob, a um, little knife. There you go, nice and simple really. Just colour it in, doesn't really need any explanation. Chopping board. And then, as if by magic, I've transformed Colin into a little chef, um, and I've made that little scene there. So, um, there we go. So basically, what your task is, is to be as creative as you can, and to make a character, doesn't matter if it's made out of a bit of cork or a bit of card, uh, make a character, customise him, but more importantly, or her, more importantly, you need to create a little scene, um, and it's gonna be a bit of a competition. So you can spend as much time or a little time as you want. You might have an idea already. You might take go away and have a little think, but basically make a little scene. Um, I've given you some as examples. Um, I've just made a little beach scene and a little kind of uh, kitchen, but you can be as creative as you want. Um, I'm going to show you another scene in a minute using the um, magic of time-lapse, but basically it's completely up to you. So material that I've found that's quite useful around the house. Well, firstly, obviously you've got card. Um, corrugated, different colours, paper, which is also very useful for all sorts, kind of curving it, rounding it like that. Um, pen, I've got a Sharpie, I've got pencil, coloured pens. Um, I found these little wooden kebab sticks in the kitchen drawer, which is I found to be really useful for making railings and stuff like that. Um, elastic bands, you could make, you know, use them to make little belts or maybe like bungee jump for your little person character. Um, what else have I found? Um, coloured cards and stuff like that. Again, anything recyclable, anything that you can find in the bin that's not covered in food or anything, it's really useful. Um, egg cartons, obviously. Um, stickers, string, uh, bottle tops, milk tops. Again, very useful. 
Um, that could be made into something. Um, yeah, so there's all sorts of bits around the house. You also need some scissors, um, ideally a Pritt stick or some form of glue or mask tape, sellotape, and that's pretty much it. So if you have got a cork, uh, the only problem is it's got lots of kind of writing on or print, uh, unless you've got a plain one, and you need to sand that off. So I've luckily got a little bit of sandpaper. Um, if not, you could kind of color over it or you could use the design to help with the character. We could just put some clothes on it or something like that. So um, using the beauty of time-lapse, I'm now going to sand um, the outside of this cork. So time-lapse, go. Okay, so basically I've sanded my cork, perfect. So now I'm gonna glue some eyes on. So I'm gonna get some googly eyes. Get my glue gun. Um, then I'm going to add a little face, make my sharpie, give it a little cheeky smile. There we go. Um, you can give it a hairstyle, give it a hairdo, a little fringe if you want. Again, completely up to do, up to you. You can do whatever you want. Right, so we've got our little character like that. Now to make some clothes for it, it's very easy. Basically, just get a bit of white card like this. And you're just going to work out how high up you want the clothes to be, and then you're just going to wrap a little bit around like that. So get a little strip of cake paper. Like that. And I'm just going to work out how much of it I need. There we go. Get some Pritt stick. Oh. Da. There we go. Wrap it around our little friend, like that. There we go. Um, just going to spin it around so the bit that's been glued to the back. There we go. And then you can pretty much do anything to the front. So we could have a little waistcoat, a little jacket, doesn't really matter up to you, so I'm going to do a little kind of part in there, put some buttons on it, jacket, smarten it up, put some buttons on there. There we go, and our little friend's got a little kind of jacket on, there we go, sorted. So that's basically it. Uh, now you can do whatever you want, you can give it a different hairstyle, and like I said, if you can't find any corks or anything like that, you can just make um, anything you want. I've, this weird purple cyclops monster is quite cool, giving them some hair there. Um, and then we can start making our scenes or the world for it to go in. Um, and like I said, it's creative. Um, it should keep you busy. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make my third and final scene as an example. I'm going to make a little skate park. Okay, so I'm going to make a little skateboard, I'm going to make a little kind of ramp, and I'm going to make, like, make a little grinding bar. Um, so yeah. Again, through the magic of time lapse, I'm going to speed things up, but um, yeah, let's go. So I've made a little skateboard, I've used some card, I haven't put any wheels in it because that's too tricky. Um, and I've just put some sand paper on the top there, make it look like a little skateboard. Um, and then I've made a little ramp, um, again, using a cardboard box. I've used those little kebab skewers and glued it up like that, make a little kind of frame at the top. Um, and there we go, so there's Colin. I've also made a little grinding bar. Sure, um, out of cardboard. And there we go, that's my third and final little scene. So we've got little skateboard, um, ramp, etc. for that one. And then I've got a little seaside scene, this one. 
And finally, I've got my favourite, which is my little kitchen scene, which comes with hat and clothes. There we go. So basically, your challenge is to be as creative as possible. You don't have to, you know, do something as detailed as this. You don't have to do. You could maybe do something more complex than this up to you. But basically, I'm challenging you to do a little creative scene. It doesn't have to have a character in it. You can maybe just do a little model. It could maybe be a scale model of, of something different. But basically, it's important to keep the, you know, keep your brain going and keep creative. Now, you don't have to do this during the week. You could save this for Easter. It could be in the evenings if you're getting a bit bored. Completely up to you. But basically. Um, it's a little challenge. Um, when you've done your design or finished it, I would love you to take a picture of it and email it to me um, and just show me what you've done, see what ideas you've come up with, and then there'll be a first, second, and third prize when we get back to school. Okay? Good luck, everyone. Hello. So exercise for the week is going for a walk. Now I'm just going for a walk up and down my garden, but you can of course go for a walk wherever you like really, as long as there aren't any people around. Um, keep your distance if you see anyone, of course. Um, yeah, it's really good for your physical health, it's really good for your mental health more importantly. So get outside and get walking. Fact of the week. Nearly 30,000 rubber ducks were lost at sea in 1992, and they are still being found today. It was a cargo ship that was traveling from Hong Kong that tipped over. Um, and actually scientists have been able to use them to study ocean currents. Some of them have been found frozen in the, in the Antarctic, and some of them washed up on the shores of Australia. So there you go, fact of the week. Thanks for watching.